Hey, it's Harmony reporting from Kids First, and today I'm going to be reviewing the movie The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. With its memorable and extraordinary visuals, it's easy to say that The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies, is an epic movie. The movie, from Academy Award winning Peter Jackson, successfully ends the trilogy extended from the book The Hobbit, written by J.R.R. Tolkien. After leaving the audience on the edge of their seats from the black cut ending from the desolation of Smog, the Battle of the Five Armies starts off with Furious Dragon Smog, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, attacking the people of Lake Town. Meanwhile, Thorin, played by Richard Armitag, is indulging in Smog's stash of gold, which is corrupting his soul of greed and insanity. When it is brought to Thorin's attention that he has broken his promise, he angers the elves and hobbits with his refusal to compromise, thus declaring war. Knowing that the movie is nearly three hours long, I expected it to have a slow beginning. It was to my surprise that the movie immediately starts with action and avoids boring the audience. The movie's length is a very unique aspect because it is longer than most movies, yet it doesn't bore the audience at any point, nor does it drag out the plot to an unnecessary extent. The movie deserves a lot of credit for the length because it is not slow. I was amazed at how fast it seemed to go by while maintaining an easy to follow, well connected flow. Another outstanding aspect of the movie is the visual effects. The detail and special effects make this mythical fantasy a work of art. The 3D effect was outstanding, and sometimes I thought I was actually going to get hit in the face. The camera angles and movements were also astonishing. Dan Hanna also did an excellent job with the production design. Among all the other amazing aspects, the acting was just as remarkable. As hard as it is to only choose a few to emphasize, the actors including Orlando Bloom, Richard Armitag, and Martin Freeman gave amazing performances in the movie. With nice camera work, strong cast, perfect sound effects, advanced special effects, beautiful visuals, and most importantly, a heartwarming ending to finish the series, this film is one I'd recommend watching. Besides the visual journey that the audience experiences, the movie dives deeper and allows the audience to witness Thorin's moral development as well. Altogether, I recommend this movie for people between the ages of 13 and 60, especially those who have enjoyed the last Hobbit movies, the Lord of the Ring movies, and sci-fi and action movies. I give this movie a 4 out of 5 stars. To know more about the movie, check it out coming to theaters December 17th. This is Harmony from Kids First.